Hey everybody, welcome to Manon. Timing. I'm Maxime. I'm Nina. And I'm Ginny. And today we're going to watch the top 10 scariest moments from the Conjuring franchise. After the intro. But before, before we get to it, <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe to our channel because you will help us grow this channel and we will love you forever and ever. Also, if you bored like <laughs> in your life, in your in your day, you can always go and find us on Instagram or Facebook for some reason. And also, if you like to support us, you could always buy us a coffee if you're interested. Mm -hmm. You can also do these things simply because you love us so much. That's also an option. You don't have to be bored. You can simply be a nice person. Have you watched all of the movies? Yes. No. Ill. I watched the first Annabelle. I hated it, so I stopped watching the Annabelle movies. Yeah, that wasn't great. The Conjuring movies were really good. I just really love Adam Wayne Warren. <laughs> I'm so into the story. I like Patrick Woods. <laughs> Let's go. Anyways. These are some of the scariest movies of the 2010s. That is true. And these scenes prove it. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest moments from the Conjuring franchise. That was a good Before one. we begin, no, I think that's okay. The opening, the opening shot of Annabelle's eyeball is immediately off-putting, and it only grows scarier from there. It's a great start to number nine. The toy fire truck. Just, I gotta say though, I don't like the animal design. Me either. I just don't find it scary. And I actually mm. find the original doll way scarier. Like the, the raggedy, 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 raggedy end mm. doll. Like the opening mm. scene was like, I think the only thing from the real story, whatever. Mm. The Conjuring 2. <laughs> the scene involving the fire truck is a great example of building tension and meeting expectations. Eight, <laughs> stalking Carol and Nancy. Annabelle creation. Oh. She's ready to feed. <laughs> Even when the first bell rings, the characters make a joke out of it and ease the atmosphere. However, things get real serious real fast. The use of sound is brilliant as the ominous noise of the bell conjures feelings of danger. Oh, Number seven, mm. the long show. Yeah, the, the problem is that they're explaining what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Probably. It really is a great, imaginative, that was and original though, right? scare. As we truly do not expect anything ominous to happen. Yeah, that's cool. That is really good, yeah. in the room with us. Mm -hmm. My house! What's the Number crooked four, man from the basement elevator, Conjuring, Annabelle. Do you remember? The crooked Annabelle man. Annabelle may not yeah. be everyone's favorite film in the Conjuring universe, but it still has a few good scenes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the right, basement so elevator yeah. scene. The crooked Director man John in the crooked house. Director employs many oh, I don't remember. Is it from here? I don't tactics. remember. Yeah, yeah. That was really good. <laughs> Even if it's not necessarily the scariest. Oh it was oh, that was really scary. It was really good. And has since <laughs> Number two, the Valak That was also really good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two is I wouldn't with say that. <laughs> as we, mm -hmm. It's enough to send constant chills down your spine, and for you to seek relief by looking away from the screen. It's okay, we do not blame you. <laughs> Number one, 
Number one, Bathsheba on the wardrobe, The Conjuring. It's kind of like I remember these scenes and they were scary in the movie. Yeah. But like in Watch Mojo. Then. Yeah, that's because it's she talked us through it. And yeah, and I, all the music is missing. Yeah. yeah. It's also like the way she talks. She's like, oh my god, this happened. <laughs> good stroll down memory yeah. lane but that was not very scary <laughs> at all like no, she prepared no, no. us for every single one of them why not show them and then explain them yeah any who's this well <laughs> we did it well, I have to watch the movies you have now. to watch the movies mm -hmm. now that you know all the scary scenes yeah. <laughs> but the stories of the movies are well yeah mm -hmm. he's also in yeah um insidious yes yeah mm. like he's and he's finally reached a point where he's famous and people recognize him. But honestly, like, I saw The Conjuring first. Mm -hmm. So in my head he was like Ed Warwin and then I watched Insidious and I was like, What? Why is he here? But actually he's been in the business for so long and he just never made a big impact. Every, like everybody knew his face and everybody was like, I know this guy, he is in movies, but I don't know his name. And he even made so many jokes about it that, yeah, that's my life, welcome to my life. And now he's actually made a name for himself with The Conjuring and Insidious and especially being the Aquaman villain. No people yeah. know who Patrick Wilson is, so that is actually really good. Also, Vera Famiga is also very famous for horror movies, I think. Storytelling yeah. took away a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. We're sorry. Well, we hope you still enjoyed it. <laughs> Other than that, nothing much to say. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we make new videos almost every week. Bye. Bye.